Okay, so welcome back to some more Payday 2. Today we're going to do another skill build. Now, today we're gonna to focus on the one down difficulty. As of recording this, the one down difficulty just came out a few days ago, and it's still new to me. I'm still trying to figure it out. It's still really, really tough. It takes me a while to get these videos put together and then uploaded to YouTube. So I don't know if in between now and then they'll change it or tweak it, but as of recording this, it's they haven't done anything to it. They just released it basically and I'm still trying to figure it out. So I wanna show you the weapons and the skills that I am using. So we're gonna start with the light crossbow first. This thing is what I use for my primary. Now I know some guys like to use the heavy crossbow. I, It does 4,000 damage, I think, with the regular bolt in it. I just think it shoots too slow. I love that it does a lot of damage, but I think it shoots too slow for me. I like the light crossbow. It does a lot less damage, but still 1,500, which will basically one-shot everything, but a dozer, I guess. But a dozer or Captain Winners. So I like the light crossbow, it shoots quicker, and I'm just using the regular arrow, the regular bolt. Also, we are using the China Puff grenade launcher. Puff Puff. Puff Puff is buff buff. This thing made one of my top five prime or secondary list of favorite weapons in the game. It's awesome, and it's even more awesome now. It does 1300 damage. What else to say? I'm just using regular grenades. I have some of the, the mods to get the concealment down. I love it. We're using the buzzer. Now, I know some guys... Some guys like to use the electric brass knuckles or whatever they're called. I prefer the buzzer. Same concept. For the throw bowl, I'm using the Molotov cocktail. It's just my favorite throw bowl in the game. I know a lot of guys are switching to the javelin because the javelin, you get three of them and you can pick them back up and they do a lot of damage. I just feel awkwardly uncomfortable using it. That's the only reason. I'm just no good with the javelin. I miss all the time. So I'm sticking with my my cocktail. I'm sticking with this. We are bringing two deployables, two equipment here. We're bringing the doctor bag and the first aid kits, the mini meds. We'll go over this a little bit when we go over the skills. We're in the suit, two-piece suit. We'll go over the skills here in a little bit. And we are using the rogue perk deck. Now, I'm not going to go over this because... Everybody knows what the Rogue Perk deck is, or most everyone. It's the dodge one, because we are running a dodge build here, and that's basically the perk deck. Alright, we're going to get into the meat of things here. So, Mastermind, I am only in the left side of the tree, the medic side. Basic combat medic to get up to the tiers. Aced out quick fix, because I mainly wanted it so that if anyone were to use the mini meds, they'd take less damage for 120 seconds, which is a really long time. That's a lot longer. I guess I never read that before. Uh, so that's why this is aced out. I have the basic uppers, which would give us seven more, so we'll have 11 mini meds. Aced out combat doctor for the medic bags, and then basic inspire. And I know a lot of people on one down will say you need inspire, and inspire is really nice, but for this build, for the build that I'm doing, it's more, it's a self-sufficient build. I mean, it helps the team, but it's, it's, it's more to be self-sufficient. So I have the basic inspire, and we also have swan song, which we'll go over in a bit. And that's why we only have the basic. Enforcer. This is the tree I used to hang out in all the time playing on Death Wish, but I've kind of gotten away from that with one down because you're limited, I feel like, with the weapons you can use. It's kind of pushing towards only the weapons that do super high amounts of damage because at least as of now recording this, like I said, the enemies are bullet sponges. I mean, wow, you waste so much ammo trying to kill them unless you have something that does a lot of damage. But anyways, we aced out resilience for the... 75% flashbang reduction because you're going to get flashed a lot. And then we got aced out underdog. And I had some extra points, so that's why I went here. You can deal 15% more damage and take 15% less damage when the enemies, when three or more enemies are within 18 meters of you. And there's basically always three or more enemies around you. So I thought it was nice. This is the tree that I never really come into. And the only reason we got the basic third law and basic. Eco Sentry is to get to Jack of All Trades. I wanted to be able to bring two deployables. So I'm bringing totally upgraded med bags with all the charges, and then I'm bringing half of the minis. And the minis go quick. Usually I just use it for the beginning part of the heist to get me through, you know, for a little while. You could switch that with an ammo bag if you felt like you needed it, but I'm bringing the minis. And you have 11, and you can only bring half, which is really cool because it actually gives you six instead of five. So it gives you the higher part instead of the lower part. So if you have 11 mini meds and use that as a secondary deployable, then you get six instead of five. So that's kind of cool. 
So this is the only reason we're in technician. Let's see, ghost. Ghost, let's start. I guess let's start here. So we ace out duck and cover because we're running dodge. We want to be quick. We want faster stamina regen and all that good stuff. Basic parkour for the 10% additional movement speed. Basic inner pockets to get the concealment of the, the melee weapon down. I aced out shockproof partly because I needed some points to get up here. And partly, surprisingly, it actually does help. Even on one down, it helps. I've gotten away from tasers and not died before because of this. So you could change this. You could ace this if you wanted to be able to run and reload. I don't like doing that or ace out dire need, which is kind of a cool skill. But I chose shockproof, and it does it does help, even on one down. And then we got the basic dodge. We're not getting full dodge because our detection's about 7, I think. But we're getting 54 instead of 55. So pretty decent. Good enough for me. And then for Silent Killer, we got the basic second win because your armor is always breaking with a suit. You want to be quick. We have the basic optical illusions. You're 45% less likely to be targeted. Now that used to be if you're close to your teammates, I think. So they did change it. Made it a little more teammate friendly. And then the basic critical strike, basic low blow, which 30% is your maximum. I think we're like 24, something like that, 24-ish. So not bad. Um, pretty close to the maximum low blow, even with just getting the basic because of our concealment. And then Fugitive. This is where I feel like a lot of the magic happens. Brawler. We got the basic martial arts and the basic bloodthirst just so we could get Berserker. Even with a suit and dodge, your health is always low. Or a lot of times, it's, it's always low. So being in Berserker, even with a suit, is awesome. When you're below 50% health, you do 100% more damage with ranged weapons. Berserker is awesome, even with the suit. And then nine lives is aced because we wanted the two downs. So instead of going down once and going gray, you get to go down twice instead of uh, and then go gray. These two, I really don't know if I notice it too much, but it sounds good on paper. Up you go, you take 30% less damage for 10 seconds. Sounds good because there's enemies everywhere and we're running dodge, so if we just get breathed on, when we get up, we're dead. Let's see, you reload and swap weapons 100% faster for 10 seconds after being revived. This, I really don't know if it's worth it. The light crossbow loads reloads pretty fast, but not really fast. But the problem is, is when I get revived, I'm running as fast as I can, as far away as I can to regroup and then go after him again. And by, that, by the time I start heading back, that's kind of already worn off. So you could use these two points somewhere else if you really wanted to, but I chose to put them here. This is important. Swan Song aced, Feign Death aced, and Messiah aced. Messiah aced, you have one charge. So you can kill an enemy with anything. It used to be Pistol Messiah. You can kill an enemy with anything and get back up once. And then if you have it aced, you replenish that charge if you use a med bag. So if you use your, your Messiah to get back up, if you hit a med bag again, you get the charge back. Feign Death aced, you have a 45% chance to revive on your own. And then Swan Song, you have nine seconds to do whatever, I guess. Do whatever you want before you go down. This is kind of a, a big core to the build. The build is self-sufficient. So, I have two downs. You have two downs. You take the, the first down. You take that one, and you shoot an enemy really fast with the Puff Puff or the, the Light Crossbow. It really doesn't matter. Then you have to press space. You have to hit the space bar to get back up, so it's different. So kill an enemy real quick. Wait to see if Feign Death works. If Feign Death works, then you can save your your Messiah. If it doesn't, then use your Messiah. A lot of times for me, my Feign Death will work on the, the first try, and then I use the Messiah on the second one, and by then you have to hit a medbag again. I also eat up meds pretty bad. I eat up meds. I don't know if I eat it up pretty bad, but I use them. I definitely use them. The build... I take downs. I don't take tons of downs, but I take some downs. And I like knowing that with between Feign Death, Messiah, or if there's a guy with Inspire on your team, you're probably going to get back up. And I didn't want to have to rely super hard on teammates because I play in public lobbies a lot. And so these, you know, sometimes you run into people you know. A lot of times you're playing with new people and you just don't know them. You don't know if they're going to be able to help you. There's desync, all kinds of terrible things. So this is a very self-sufficient build. Yes, we use the the combat doctor, the medic bags a lot, but it's fairly self-sufficient. I do have some gameplay I want to show you. I think it's, what was it from? 
Big Bank. It was from Big Bank. And we'll go over that after we finish this part up. But uh, we did, I did Big Bank Loud and used this build. And I'm going to show you some of the best parts of that heist, I guess. Where it's working. Try and show you all the parts of that build. It works for me. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you. There's a lot of different guys doing different things out there. You could get dominator and jokers and they do tons of damage get hostage taker to get some health back i have a friend on steam his name's dead kitty he does that and it works really really well for him i think he also uses the heavy crossbow which does a lot of damage i just prefer the light one because i can shoot quicker even though it does less damage there's a lot of different builds out there but i feel like right now in the state that one down's in you have to have weapons that do high amounts of damage now unfortunately people complain a lot to me that Hey, you're using just DLC weapons. Well, I love Payday, so I buy all the DLCs. I love the game. I support the game. I get mad at the game, but I love it. It's a love-hate relationship. And unfortunately, a lot of the weapons that do high, high amounts of damage are DLC. What, the Thanatos, the, the rocket launcher, the crossbows, the grenade launcher, even... The puff or even the piglet and the gl40 are dlc i think yeah i think they are barbecue and i don't remember what the other one is so a lot of the weapons that people are having to use are dlc unfortunately but hey payday always has sales it's a good time to pick them up when they have a sale you can get them really cheap and that's what i use i'm sure there's other game guns in the game that you can use other weapons you can use in the game that work but these are the ones i prefer and these are the ones that work for me anyways that's long enough talking Let's get to the gameplay. Thank you so much for the support on Payday 2. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. And until the next video, take it easy.
Get back in the game. 